Looks good, man. It's rocky. Water moving through it. This looks really good. Cowboy's already off with his spear. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, this one we are in Locker River, which is an Aboriginal community on the east coast of Cape York. We're going to catch up with Tremaine. Tremaine's an absolute legend, good mate of mine, and he just loves his hunting, fishing and hunting. I imagine today we're going to be on foot, we'll have spears, fishing rods, um, Tremaine might take the dogs, and we're going to go for a, for a proper hunt. Hey bro, how are you? You got the ute back. Your car. Oh yeah, that's one of them. Last time I was here, the cops had it. Yeah, that's a cool thing on their body. Oh really? All right, we'll get the rods ready. Get some spear tips ready so we can make a spear if we find spear shafts. Load the backpack with some water. Still got no idea where we're going. For thousands of years, an Aboriginal tribe, the Otalungal people, called this land home. There were children just like yours running around playing games, women keeping a watchful eye on them while they collected and prepared food for the evening meal. The men, the husbands, fathers, brothers and uncles, would be out hunting the land and the sea, for wallabies and goanna to turtle, fish and dugong depending on the season. In 1924, this all began to change, an Anglican mission set up in this country right here and began bringing in people from all the surrounding tribes. Umpala to the south, Kanju to the southwest, and Kukuyao and Wudati to the north. Typically, missions around Australia did not accept any part of Aboriginal culture and there were extreme punishments for practicing any part of it. No language, no story, no dance, no ceremony. In the 1960s, the missionaries left and the town site moved to where it is today. This land is now managed by the locals, giving them, and them only, access to this ancient land. The land where the Wutalungu ancestors walked, hunted, held ceremony, and called home for thousands of years. It's a place for locals to practice their culture and teach the next generation. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Absolutely delicious this stuff. Hi uh, everyone, meet Smithy. Hello. How good is that? These things are delicious, my favourite. Oh, there's one. Smithy and Cowboy. Hello. And you all remember Tremaine? Tremaine's back for another episode. Hopefully yeah. a couple episodes, eh? Yeah, that's a good one, bro. Yeah. It's loaded, hey, but they're yeah. pretty green. A couple more rain, eh? Hey? Yeah. Got some low ones there? Yeah. Oh, green air. Yeah. Oh, it is too. Hope. Hope he got hit by them the other day, the poor kid. Yeah. Oh, that's so good, eh? Hey? Yeah. Thank you. Legend. Look at that. So these yule tea are like a, tastes like a cherry, like a river cherry. And they come into season this time of year. The boys are saying normally like with another rain, like one more rain, these, these green fruits will all go black and purple. So good. Nice 
Oh, I'm getting some solar. Big, big blue tail, you're straight down. What'd you say? Big, big blue tail, mullet. Oh, shade, eh? Shade, bro. Under shade? Nah, we'll yeah. get some sun on the roof. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get some power. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good one, bro. Let's check it out. How's it look? Look nice. So you get a bit of salt and fresh air. Yeah. yeah. This comes from London up and yeah, Bewitch from London. the bottom. Alright, so Tremaine's going to make a spear, hopefully. And um, what are we doing? What are we chasing? Just anything? Yeah. Mullet. Mullet, barra. Mullet and barra. Alright. Right. Ever seen any mangrove jack in here? Yeah, very good. Looks good, man. It's rocky, water moving through it. This looks really good. Cowboy's already off with his spear. <laughs> they come back. Oh, yeah, over there. They're big fellas. Uh, four huge, big blue tail mullet swimming across the other side there. Oh, he'd be 500, 600 mil long. All right, so far north Queensland is obviously crocodiles in all these systems. You ever hear of any big fellas hanging out here? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we just gotta be careful. Heaps of that beach hibiscus, which is a spear rod tree. And at the moment, it's, it's all on the other side of the river. All that spear, spear handle. Yeah, or are they moving With through? The yeah. Oh yeah, chuck it here, I'll put it in my bag. Sorry. Cowboy is saying he just saw a baby croc here. Where was it? On the bank. Nice deep corner over here. Got him! Got him! Spear, bro! 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 Yeah. 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 Oh, what's that up there? Scrub chook. Something running up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this looks good here with this timber. I thought you would have got hit over there for sure. That water is way cooler coming out of there. Yeah, bro, way cooler. Yeah. Women, I think. I think so too. Oh, we're going to roast up this big mullet, big blue tail mullet. I think that's the biggest I've seen. 
Oh, you want to gut him? Oh, how's the shot? Look at the headshot there. Yeah, I like him. Nice. Right there. Knocked him out. Yeah. That's him, brother. Clean him up there, just roast him up. Yeah. Hey! 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 You got a fire going, eh? Yeah. So we're gonna gut and gill that mullet. Um, get a fire going. Have a cook up. I think I've got the salt. I do. I've got the salt in the backpack. That makes carrying that backpack worthwhile. I think we're gonna make some spears too with these spear handles. So we've all got a spear and we'll go for a walk with spears, eh? Have a cook up there in the shade. Oh, machine. I better look for another handle for a quick one. Yeah. Now a small handle for a good side on two. Small one. Handle. Yeah. So look for a quick one. Cut them up so I'm not burning. I don't make one fix here. I reckon I'll get Smithy's going to cut us a couple of new spear handles. Looking for crocodiles. Yeah. Come Buddy, deep, come deeper than it looks, bro. Yeah, come, bro. You're right. <laughs> You just said you're right, then you said you should be right. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. It's a bit uncomfortable. Nice, step, bro. Yeah. So you can make a road of you. Yeah, and there's one here, I'm going to get two. Yeah, I look for one good one. You gotta look for a straight one. Yeah. Look like one there. One there, right there. Straight angles. Gotta look for the perfect size. Ah. Look, look, look. Yeah, that's yeah. man. Holy shit. Let's hope I don't fall in the river. <laughs> Let's just wait and see. Take that knife. You happy with it? Yeah. Should be right, I With that. Uh, I thought there was one there, but it's got a kink in it. Nah, you bend. Bend it? Yeah, and it's too young, you're still on the top. Should it snap easy. Yeah, this part will snap easy. About this one, this one. Yeah. Oh, it's got a big kink in it there. Yeah, that's enough. From the tree, you look at. Yeah. Go outside the tree. What about that one next to it? Can you straighten that in the fire? Yeah.
left hand, that's what rust guy. You left handed? Yeah. <laughs> oh. There you go. One more, one more. He's got it. So is that other one okay, the first one, or you reckon it's too, too young? End. On the end. It'll snap up there, eh? Yeah. Alright, so we need another one. We need one more. Jeez, it's so dense in here. This is the, like true wilderness. I love this stuff. Look at this. Nothing out here, but wild pigs and all sorts of animals. Oh, that might be one there. Yes. Mom, that float car. Leaning. Oh yeah. Look how dead straight that is. That's my one. Yeah, that's your one. <laughs> <laughs> Nums, you can have the other one. Yeah, look bro, sell a place for us. Yes. Oh, mission just a whole lot easier. Oh, all the way up here, yep. mud shell. Yeah, bro. Crocodile <laughs> time, bro. Crocodile time. So we must be in a good mix of brackish water here with with that mud shell being in here. They look straighter when they're on the trees, eh? So that man there in some more bendy. So this straightens it, but it makes it stronger as well. So you always got to straighten them, like through this process, straight away. Like what, as soon as you cut them, you do this. Yeah. Leave it dry, yeah. Uh, so you can leave them dry, so we get hard another way. Okay. So sun for hit the handle. You can burn them. Come this way now, come this way. No, come this way. Nice hole there. Flame in the back there for the spears. Yeah, boys. Full handle there, yeah, brother. Some over here. That's there, yeah. Another one there, bro, is working on. Look at that. Look at that. Nicely on the coal, eh? Where we finish warming all of them? Yeah, go, but straight them up there. Oh, that one. Boys, uh, good day. We came when the tide was way up here. Now, tide's pretty low. We might head down. Got that mullet from right there. Good. And that looks pretty straight. Yeah, that thing looks pretty straight, eh? Yeah, that's awesome. That come up really good. How about this one? Yeah, that's the other one, the two. Getting there. Yeah, yeah. a bit yeah. more. Nice and thin. Yeah, what is? <laughs> <laughs> 
So you move the gra uh, thing on the put my shade the bro on the shade table. Perfect. Ah oh, yeah. No nice too. That does smell good. You're gonna love this stuff. Lemon pool, bro. Oh, it's got like dried lemon in it and salt. It's so yummy. Yeah. yeah, the boys. <laughs> Lemon salt. What then? Oh, that's good. Oh. Mm. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Thanks, mate. Good salt. Eyeball. Oh, the eyeballs. You're thinking about okay. the eyeballs. Yeah. They're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can see the lemon with the salt. Mm. Just put uh, salt. Nice, eh? Just salt. One of the kind. Fresh kill. Butter for men. Yeah, good shot, mate. Right? One head, yeah. no, it's very far. You don't even move. Mm. Load. Hopefully, we'll see some barrels now. Hey, fire your burn. Oh, hey, you me. Ha ha ha. Sun. <laughs> well, reaches again. Got well, lemon reaches salt. Salt. Well, salt. Mix yeah. lemon. Yeah. Got lemon in sour salt. salt. Yeah, More bro. Ten yeah, games. This batch for our fish. Then you forget a lemon. You just salt him and how? Test him by the lockout, boy. Yeah. Oh, shit. That salt, that's it. <sighs> Bit of free ride, bro, and head down, then I yeah. check out some spots. So it's far, it's high, high, but now it's pretty low. Yeah. We can walk down. Yeah. 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 A pinch of salt. Oh, not too much. But yeah, that's just the best. Huh? Over that one. That's all the mm -hmm. level, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Lemon mm -hmm. salt. Mm. Lemon salt. Eh? But I need. Oh, Go get yourself a lemon salt from Wild Reaches. Nah. <laughs> 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 what yeah. to do with this now? Oh, oh, look at that, bro. Look at that. This has turned into a cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good lunch day before oh, yeah. we head down. Gets more energy, yeah. Eh? Oh, oh, perfect. Look at this. Big slab. Yeah, bro. Get into that. Let me try it first. So when you put the wire in, you won't break out the wood from ah, this, this part here. Yeah. So you sort of wire can just stay nice and tight. Yeah, we want to go down. Let's check them out some deeps. Quick away. Yeah. All the way down. Yeah. So as you like, you're hitting the way in. This this yeah. part goes <laughs> hard, like yeah. comes yeah. up yeah. a bit yeah. and goes yeah. tighter. Yeah. We did that spot the other day. That's a good way to do it. Quick way to do it. Yeah, quick way on the on the go. That one would have been. It's what we do. We roll us the quick way, da. Nate. Yeah. Look, anti style, my brother, anti man too. My brother, anti man too. Oh, well. Should be right. Should be this and that's the job. Do the job. <laughs> yeah. That is. Tide was rushing down and look at the tide now. Missed the barrel from there. Got the mullet this from in back of Brown 8 there. Yeah.
Yeah, but what's looking cool for bear on them? Corner for. Ah, look how dry the river now, man. Hopefully we'll get down there to the deep spots. Nice little spot. Who's? Yeah! Barra! That's a good one, bro. They're here now. Yeah! They're here, bro. <laughs> Couldn't think of a better way to spend the afternoon, even though it is my wife's birthday, my beautiful wife. Happy birthday, darling. We'll celebrate tomorrow. It is, man. It's so good for walking. So we're just going to stick to this river and just keep walking, eh? Yeah. That's the plan? Yeah. What an awesome river. I it was a good bear, man. Yeah, I reckon it was close to 60. Yeah. It was... Didn't hook him, uh, let him pick nah, him. I like, I did a twitch and then my line had slack in it when you ah, hit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I missed the take. Two, two, two. What a crazy system, man. This is just normal to you because it's your backyard, but... Look this butterfly, <laughs> so many colours. So yeah, this is Tremaine's backyard, so it's pretty normal to you, bro, but this is epic. Yeah. This oh, is just handle. beautiful. Yeah, lots of spear handle. Cut more on the way back, right? Yep. So I can make some spear for next time. Yeah, true. Oh, here, bro. Yeah? Yeah, little, little size one. Huh? He was just sitting right here. Ah, Simba. Oh yeah, see his tail. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a couple under that. Hey cowboy, check. Get ready, bro. So you guys can all watch Tremaine's adventures. It's not just when I'm with him. You're pretty much doing this all the time, eh? Yeah. So I, uh, oh, there's a crocodile track, eh? Yeah. Just, just there. You just seen that, huh? Oh, there he is, there to his tail. Um, oh, and his belly up here. Oh, there's a few here, look at that. One there, one there. Big fella up there. Oh, look at him, he comes right through here. <laughs> There's heaps here, bro. Yeah. Oh man, that's how that's how real it is. There's crocodile tracks everywhere here. So, um, what was I saying? I R G underscore ventures. 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 Oh yeah, heaps of spear right up there. Yeah, check him out on Instagram. I R G underscore ventures. I'll put a link in the description below but he just lives for this stuff it's pretty cool to watch especially pig hunting there's yeah, some good ones in there got him Yes, look at this, bro. Uh -huh. Who's talking about this? <laughs> look at that. Yeah, bro. Uh -huh. Look at the color of him. <gasps> no way. Yes. Up here in the fresh water. Yes. I just seen him. Yeah. Look at the claws on him. All right. <laughs> yeah, bro. Let's him up. Phew. Ah, oh, how good is this place? Well, this could be a new favorite. Like this, hey, bro. Hey? I was thinking, I was almost talking about catching a big crab like this. And then this. you done it, we are just talking about it at lunchtime. Yeah, biggest big crab. Nice. Yeah. Cool. I'll check bag. Yeah. <laughs> a little lunch bag, eh? Yeah, I'll check all the fish I have in there. How is that? I hope it don't bite my back though. <laughs> This is looking pretty dry. This is going to take us to a hole, is it? Yeah, yeah. Cattle? Cattle? Yeah. 
Pigs. Oh, really? <laughs> so that's magpie geese? Yeah, magpie geese. Which Ray was saying with Woomera, we'd have nailed him, eh? Yeah. With yeah. more power behind more it. Power, yeah. More power, yeah. It's so cool to come out on country with these boys and see that this is just the way they live. You know, they'll come out here with no food, no water just with the spears and between them one fishing rod and everything you know chasing mud crab chasing barramundi mullet that magpie geese everything's food it's the way that people have lived for thousands of years all the tools you need are right there Yeah. Okay. Let's see, we got some fish in here. Sleeping down here. Yeah. <laughs> Swimming back to the cruiser. If I come back to the cruiser, we can walk nah, around. Yeah. Just walk all the way back. All the way around. Main road, yeah. then probably see one of the huh? main road boys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, true. <laughs> you gave us lift all the no way back problem, around. No problem, no Make problem. Megman. Megman. Nah, let's just beat the tyre, though. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck. Huh? Tremaine's got mud cut for dinner. I eat them crab, you may roast them there. Hopefully on the way back, get a stingray. Yeah. That was a good mud crab. Yeah. Roast them, eh? Oh, that's my favourite way, straight in the coals. You could probably cook them up, eh? Yeah. I got that barrel up from yesterday, probably cook that up. For tonight. Are you going to end that crab up tonight, eh? No, it's for you guys. That was the last thing I thought. Well, we'll roast it for us, four on the fire, eh? Or what? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Just to munch on before we head. A bit of mouth taste. I reckon it's gonna be sweet, I mean, right? Me too, that purple. Yeah, because of the color of the. Yeah. Big guy, big. Big buck. Bro, the geese, bro. One more. Him keep land but front of me. <laughs> I will kill them, mate. <laughs> bro, I feel this. If you bit, you saw a bit of small grassy bit there, what a small lumpy bed, you want to fly here, what a grassy bed. I'm going to be in, what a thing, corn and stuff. I watch you, thing, but I see, okay, I watch you, a blue tail come, he creep up, go, <laughs> go around, and miss it, I can't get, I want to bail up, give up. I'm going to be in the sun, man. The good direction. You can be here.
Lack them out then. Yeah. Round two. Round two. Round two. Smith is going to get it this time. This episode today is brought to you all by the season sponsor, Zolio. Zolio is a personal, personal locating beacon basically. You can see it here hanging on my backpack. And I'm using it this trip because last season I had a satellite phone that actually failed me. And um, I won't go into the full story, but I got caught out um, having some trailer trouble on the side of the road up here in Cape York, middle of nowhere, solo. I've had enough. It is, like I said, 7.30. Oh, I can't even crawl this thing off the road. I don't know how I'm gonna... I can't be bothered fixing it right now. Oh man. I was okay, worked my way through it for about... Oh, it was about 11 or 12 hours of fixing things and because I was then late to where I was getting to, everyone panicked. My wife back at home. People were actually, including the police, about to come and look for me. And um, if I had have had the Zolio, everyone would have been aware of where I was. So. The Zolio, I'm going to do my absolute best now to carry on every single adventure I've been using at this trip and, I'm, and honestly I'm super impressed with it. It just hangs on your backpack there. I can easily just press that little tick button and it sends a my location and then I'm okay to, I've got it set to my wife so she's constantly getting updates. My wife is currently camped out in Lockhart River whilst I'm out here with the boys in the, in the middle of nowhere and um, it's just a quick and easy way to stay in contact. She's a little bit spooked after last season when, when uh, I, I went missing. And um, this just gives me that peace of mind. So my mobile phone is in my backpack. It has the Zolio app. And I'm also able to stop, pull out my phone and send a quick text message. And she's able to message me back and say that she got the message. She has my location because I've pressed the button on the Zolio device. It's just really cool to be connected. And if anything did happen, you've also got an SOS button there on the Zolio device. Well, you flick it open and press the button and help is going to be on its way. So if you're bitten by a snake, grabbed by a crocodile and you're able to make it to the bank and um, tourniquet yourself or something, you can hit that button. Or, you know, if shit really did hit the fan and you were stranded somewhere in the vehicle, out of water, something serious, you could hit that button and help is coming. So thank you to Zolio for supporting what I'm doing out here in the bush. And um, I highly recommend to all of you guys to grab yourself something like this. I recommend Zolio and just stay safe out there. Don't let it stop you getting out in the wilderness though. So it was really cool to see this river really change today, to transform, to go from when we got here this morning and to walk down as far as we could semi-safely in crocodile water <sighs> um, until it was just getting too deep. And, you know, to sit back there and have that mullet, make those spears, and then um, wait, wait for that tide to drop out, and then walk so far downstream, see all these croc slides on the bank, to really see this river, how it changes on the, on the sides, the ecosystem, and to hear the different wildlife living in there, is pretty special. And now, it doesn't look like it, but that tide's starting to push back up, and um, we're gonna get back up before it gets too deep. Go, bro. This little drain. Last yeah. I reckon if you walk this with a bow, yeah. especially this time of night, hey, yeah, bro. you get these pigs coming down. Pigs and cows, eh? Yeah. On the low tide. You just have to walk real, real quiet. Probably do some barrels, eh? Just send them snags. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. We need that barrel. Oh, we got yes! <laughs> yes, bro. Oh, uh, just a little one, eh? Yeah. 
Ah, oh, come on, where's that big oh, fella? Tiny. Look at him. Biggest fish for the day. <laughs> little bar Monday. Yeah, it could be the one. only one we land. I hope we got, I hope we got another one. Let's get out. The boys just walked up the river there. Probably get that fire started again. Cook that crab up, eh, bro? You reckon? Yeah, have a bit of feed. So you got to barrel from over. He's in the spot. Hey! You got him? Do we, eh? Oh, catfish. It is. Catfish. It is. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking me, I'm gonna jump. He's not a bad one. Yeah, it's a good size. I've got one better than that from yesterday. Oh, bro. Oh, that should be a uh, cast. Yeah. Oh. What? I missed it. That was a good size, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. That was a big hit. Yeah, bro. Come on, I think they're there. I think they're just sitting on the bottom or something, eh? <laughs> I'm going to sharpen my trebles. <laughs> yeah, bro. And that's ah, uh, come on, got him on the slack again, eh, bro? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, same like the first one. Yes, that's a good size one there now, bro. <laughs> yes, ah, oh, that's a good one, bro. Good action. <laughs> good barrel, bro. That's a nice one, bro. Yes. Nice one, bro. He's fat. Yeah, bro, that's a bloody nice one. That is. Yeah. And then can. I hope I'll probably catch. I'll probably catch the same one and take him home. Bro. <laughs> Him run, run, give me jump up, ah, give it up, ah, run with us, be a middle river. <laughs> Good day, boys. Thank you. Uh, Good to meet you, fellas. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. And I'll see you when I'm back, eh? Yeah, yeah. 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 What about this one there, Ray? Yeah. What about this one? for you? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, I'll cut that spear down for you. Make sure I've got tea bags next time. Yeah, we don't have <laughs> We lost your phone. Yeah, for the slip. Yeah, I think. Missed out, guys. <laughs> we came looking for your brother, and you weren't Bad there. Gosh, I was running. <laughs> Good 
All right, guys, that is a wrap for another episode. Uh, today was an amazing day, another big one. Um, the sun has set behind the hills over here and I'm heading back to camp to see my family. Great day. You guys saw it. I don't need to explain it again, but just catching food is just, there's something primitive about it that I absolutely love. And um, especially up here where things haven't changed for, for so many, like for so many years. Like, yeah, there's an Aboriginal community in here and I'm sitting here now under power lines. Um, but you go down this road here, which is locals only and head down towards the old mission, um, old site, the locals call it, where the, you know, these three tribes were brought to that area back in the mission days. Uh, and brought together to live there and you head down into that country and that hasn't changed in thousands of years except for the track going in there it's all the same so well I mean it's all the same as in like it, it hasn't changed it's the same as it was thousands of years ago and that's the stuff that I like to do I like to connect with with this country that we're all we're all living on we're all walking on and um, we're all a lot of us are missing out a lot of us are missing that connection and, because it's been changed and you come here to pull to you come to any place that hasn't really changed and you can feel that connection and it's beautiful and that's what drives me so um, if you're enjoying that make sure you come back next week because i'm sure it's going to be a lot more of that kind of stuff um, i don't know where we're going from here but i do have to get up to the islands in the torres strait but i want to come back here to Lockhart because it, it's very special to me i love it here i love these boys that i get to go out in the country with and we have a lot of fun so I'm coming back fellas and uh, we're going to go camp out for a few nights I reckon and do some proper fishing and, and hunting and see a bit more about your culture. So uh, that's a wrap. Make sure you get your merch, wildreaches.com. We've got the new fishing shirts over there. Um, and go back and watch another episode. As you all know, there's there's over 100 episodes there and do us a favour and click on that next one and, and keep watching. Alright, see you all next week. That's all, that's it. Mm. Go get yourself a lemon salt from Wild Reaches. <laughs> 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 <laughs>